What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Snagger Rooney, man. Look, I got the best, I want to say the best power forward build at 99 overall, man. Look, this is the best power forward build at 99 overall. I'm going to give you guys the exact reason why I say this, all right? First things first, I got to go ahead and like this video, man. Real quick, real fast. Drop that like. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. Let's go with the power forward build. Once again, it is the power forward build, okay? The build we are making today has 12 Hall of Fame badges at 99 overall. Before I make this build, I'm gonna give y'all a few seconds to just try to guess. You won't be able to guess it, but just try and guess what build gets 12 Hall of Fame badges at 99 overall. And it's not the shot creating stretch. That is a that is a power forward build, but that is a stretch. Okay, we're gonna go with the power forward build of a center. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all, man. Look. First thing you want to go through with is a primary driving and finishing. We are going to be an athletic at the power forward position. So look, secondary position you're going to want to go to man, is the defending build, man. Look, look, there's a lot of things you have to edit with this build. You can't just make the build max wingspan, max weight. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You got to look at the attributes. You got to look at everything you have, okay? So the reason why I'm going with this build is because me personally, I like the badges. If you are a athletic, you should know that all these badges that you have are amazing. At the center position, you do, you see at silver, you do have rim protector at silver, at power forward. On the center build, you have it at gold. That's the only difference between this build at, at power forward and center, is that you get rim protector on gold at the center position. But that's okay, because at 99, you'll have that gold. So you can sacrifice that. And on the center build, you only have like four silver badges. So why not have the same 12? Because you still get 12 on the center build of a two-way athletic. Why not just have the same 12 at power forward and have eight silver badges, okay? And not only that, you'll be able to have better badges. Look, imagine all these silver badges at gold when I'm 99 overall, because I'm going to hit 99 on this build, all right? So you see that you get posterizer on Hall of Fame. The Lob City is all right, it's fine, you know what I'm saying? But you get the posterizer Hall of Fame. Relentless finisher is gold too, so as you're you can do push off animations and get rep for that in career that's a good plus right there pick and roller i love setting screens and rolling you know what i'm saying i like that i appreciate that the one thing that also is a little bit downside of this build is that you get brick wall on silver but that's that's once again okay because you're not supposed to be sitting there setting big bodies all day you're going to be doing your pick and roller which is on gold you're going to be running down in the paint trying to get rebounds you know what i'm saying so that's what you want to do is is just make this build at power forward all right so let's move on um to our height, all right. Listen, I have another valid reason for this build being the best 99 overall build. You do not want to make this build at seven foot, okay? The reason why I say not make it at seven foot is because you will not probably be able to get the contact dunks, the big man contact dunks. As you can see, your big man contact dunk right now is an 83. That is, I do believe that you have to have an 85 contact dunk, okay? So what I did was, I went down to 611 because you do get tier two dribble move. No, no, no. You get packages only when you're seven foot. You only get packages one uh, of the contact dunks. Okay. If you go down to 611, you get to have an 80. You get to have an 84 contact dunk, and you get the tier one and tier two of the contact dunk packages. Now, this is what you're gonna have to do. Once you make, you do see now. Like I said, the contact dunk has to be an 85 for big man contact dunks. So. While you're 6'11", you're going to want to go on over to the weight. This is how we're going to edit this and make it better, okay? Because not only is your contact, your your strength at this point at 6'11", is like 70-something, all right? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to adjust the weight. That way my player has the best capacity of almost being a center, but still being a power forward at the same time. Okay, all right. So for this build, for this build's weight, we don't want to go with the max of 275, okay? One, because I'm a power forward, so I should be able to move as much as I should be able to, okay? I already am a little bit short, so my height is killed, okay? It's it's killed. I'm 6'11 now. You got to remember that. So we don't want to go with that 275, okay? You do have a driving dunk now of 92, but look. Look at the difference when... Okay, so look. Look at the difference. You have a 92 driving dunk. The way I want to go with is 265, okay? I'm going with 265 instead of the original 275. I'm going with 265, so I still have a 91 contact dunk, okay? That's way better than 85. Not to mention, you still keep that beautiful strength of 80, all right? Now, if you were the typical person, you probably would go way lower and make them like 245 or 250. But look at your strength, okay? One, 
your strength is a 75. That's terrible because you're a power forward. You're now 6'11", so you're even shorter. You're not going to be pushing a, a pure post. You know what I'm saying? You have bruiser on gold. Use that advantage. So that's why I'm going with 265 so that I have a... That, that way I have an 80 strength, okay? I now have an 80 strength. My speed, everything is the exact same. I even have a better box out now. My box out is a 78. It's not a 76. So you're going to go with that, all right? Two-way uh, two way athletic, and he's has a 91 contact dunk. So we're going to be... Look at the driving dunk, guys. A 91 driving dunk as well. So you're going to be catching bodies with that post scoring Hall of Fame, okay? With the post scoring Hall of Fame. With the... um, I said post scoring. I meant to say the post riser Hall of Fame, all right? Look at the wingspan. The wingspan, we're gonna do this, all right? I'm not gonna mat I'm not gonna decrease my wingspan simply because I wanna shoot better, all right? I do have a mid-range of a 64, so the max I could do it at is like a 69 open shot, all right? Contested mid-range is a 70 with boost, which is good. So let's not try to make that any better than it is. You don't need to shoot when you're two-way, especially at athletic. So we're gonna just gonna max the wingspan now. It's not gonna kill anything. The only thing it's gonna kill is our shooting. You should not be shooting with this build period. I don't care if you think that you're the best three point shooter of the world, you're not supposed to be shooting with this build. All right, so you're gonna wanna max the wingspan now. And that's it. That's simply it for this two way athletic finisher. Best 99 overall center build. Strength is an 80. You have a 91 contact dunk. And as well that you have all the same Hall of Fame badges at 99, 12 Hall of Fame. And you get eight gold at Hall of Fame, 99 overall at Power Forward. So once again, you're gonna go with a 265 weight. Your um, wingspan will be maxed, and you're gonna go 610 with a two-way athletic finisher. Y'all, let me know how y'all how y'all do with this boot if you even do it. Okay, I just wanna let that be known. I did get rid of my shot creating post score. Uh, my shot creating post score, yes, I sold that account. I also made a shot creating stretch that you guys seen. I also got rid of him. I'm not built for the stretch. I don't like the post score. I'm going with a two-way athletic finisher, man. Y'all like this video, and I'm out.